This is Sandra Sider, president of Studio Art Quilt Associates. My video from the 2011 Houston International Quilt Festival gives you a glimpse of our new exhibition, Sense of Adventure. The exhibition video is followed by an interview with our juror. If you would like to purchase the catalog, please go to sacwa.com, saqa.com, and click on our store. This quilt is by Jennifer Day. The title is, as you might imagine, Old Hands. This artist is Marianne R. Williamson, and her quilt is Running River. Heidi Zielinski made this quilt, Glorious Leaves. Martha Wolf is the artist of Las Tusas Ponderosa Pine. This quilt was made by Diana Shore. The title is Starry Starry Bike. Jean Herman is the artist here and the title is Blue Mosque. Peg Keeney made this quilt after the storm. Betty Hahn is the artist of Escape. Sin Chen Lin created this quilt, Hope Among Debris. And this quilt <clears throat> is by me, Sandra Sider. The title is On the Road, Road Rage. Rosalind DeBoer created Undulating. Eileen Lauterborn is the artist for Letting Go. This quilt is by Jenny Hebert. The title is Effervescence. Julia E. Pfaff made Contours for Islands. Penny Matier is the artist for Board Games. Sally McQuaid made this irregular quilt, Pink Strength. Mary Tabor is the artist for Midlife. This quilt is by Sandra Brandjord. The title is La Fête, or The Party. Cynthia St. Charles is the artist of Goodness Gracious Great Balls of Fire. Sue Binner created cell type number two. This quilt is by Betty Busby. The title is Nucleus. Julia Eckel created simple shapes.
Ginny Dixon is the artist of Saw Blades 2. Marianne R. Williamson has two works in the show. This is her Dancing Sunset. Morty Plager is the artist for Two Feet Thick. Deborah Fell created Echo Squares. This quilt is by Felisa Lyons. The title is All In My Mind. Phyllis Cullen created Sunset Roost. And Louisa Smith is the artist for Jekyll and Hyde. Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Atkins, and I was the juror for Sense of Adventure, which was quite an adventure in itself. Uh, my background is as a curator. I have been uh, chief curator from the Allen, for the Allentown Art Museum, which I recently retired from, and I'm remaining as the Kate Fowler Merle Smith Consulting Curator of Textiles for the museum. I also do other uh, textile-related projects, both with quilts and other kinds of textiles. Thank you, Dr. Atkins. How did you interpret the theme, Sense of Adventure? Sense of adventure was an interesting theme. It's uh, a difficult theme in some ways because adventure can be interpreted in so many different ways. And uh, the quilts that were submitted really uh, ran the gamut there. What I took uh, from looking at the theme originally was thinking about um, adventure in some of its uh, more specific ways, both uh, the sense of risk, the sense of danger, the sense of exploration, the sense of excitement that goes with uh, adventure, and uh, even sometimes the sense of looking deep within yourself, not necessarily looking at the outside adventure, but looking at the internal adventure of discovering new things, whether it's about yourself, about new capabilities, but uh, just taking that next step. Terrific. Thank you. Could you tell us, did any great quilts not make the show because they had nothing to do with the theme? I'm asking because that seems to be a recurring problem with Sakwa exhibitions. Yes, I would say there were one or two quilts uh, in that were submitted that in themselves had quite a bit going for them, but by any stretch of the imagination I could just not make them relate appropriately to the theme. And what I really wanted was a group of quilts that uh, carried through one of the aspects of adventure. Terrific, thank you. Um, and just in general, from your experience as a curator, could you tell us what do you think is the value to artists of having their work exhibited in juried competitions? I think one of the biggest values, obviously, is exposure. And uh, here we are at the Quilt Festival, and what better exposure could you get uh, with hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people going through, and many of whom will spend some time in this exhibition. So I think that's of great value uh, to an artist who is submitting to a juried show. I know a lot of people are nervous about submitting to juried shows, but it's something, it's a risk. There you have it, right there, a sense of adventure in just in itself and applying to a juried show. 